Hi everyone, my name is Krista and welcome to the Gregson Hall live tour. So right now we're standing just outside. Um, to my right over here we have Bruff Hall, um, 1021 Food Hall, um, which is the main dining hall on this side of campus. And then below that we have Starbucks, Eureka Pizza. Um, we also have Gibson Hall, which is next door. And then straight down the sidewalk we have the Union. Um, so some more food options and lots of things going heading that way as well. Um, we're gonna head in, but first behind the camera we have Emily. Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I'm a marketing intern with University Housing. Um, feel free to tell us where you're tuning in from. where you'll get your packages and um, things like that, checking out equipment. Um, there'll be Arias here during the day um, and in the morning Adam the admin will be here to help you out with anything. And we are joined by Joey today. Hello, my name is Joey Gamendon. I'm the coordinator for residence education over at Gregson Hall. Um, as a coordinator for residence education, I oversee the hall, I supervise the resident assistants, uh, and I also serve as the advisor for the lead hogs as well. Um, um, outside of that, I also put on fun programs for the students and everything, and serve as a conduct officer, and um, I'm on call for duty responses and stuff. Um, so we're excited to have you all here in a couple weeks. Um, definitely when you guys get here, uh, look out for some of our awesome events that we have going on during A Week. Um, we also have this awesome uh, initiative called Pick One. Um, if you go to our website, pick one at uh, uark.edu, right? Yep. Um, so if you go there, there's awesome uh, events that uh, different organizations are hosting. Um, so it's a great chance to pick one, get involved, uh, and start joining an organization as soon as you guys get here. So definitely take a look into that. So we're going to keep on with our tour. Yes. So we'll head right on this way. Um, you can notice that there are some mailboxes here. So this is where if you have letter mail, somebody sending you letters or anything like that, that mail will go right here and each person is assigned one. I believe you share it with your roommate as well. Um, so you guys will have that mailbox. And we're gonna head downstairs actually to check out the basement. One thing to know, um, there's a trash room on, uh, shoot on the second and third floor, but there's not one on the first floor. So if you are on the first floor, you can come down to the trash room and bring your, your bag trash right here to the store, or you can go up a floor and use a trash chute, um, whatever you desire. basement um, so this is kind of just a neat little lounge area with a empty fireplace um, just a place you can sit hang out people usually be down here studying doing things like that there's a couple puzzles back here so if you want to start a puzzle there's plenty of space to do a puzzle or something like that um, behind us is some recycling that you can do as well um, recycling is a big 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 thing and then another open kind of space with a TV watching movies and things like that. Um, this is kind of the only community space in Gregson, so this is where a lot of people hang out um, and just do things, study, get to know each other. Programming will happen down here most likely um, more than anywhere else. And then in here is the kitchen, pretty big size kitchen. There's an ice machine there as well if you need ice. And all the essentials, fridge. Looks like we have two microwaves, pretty handy. And if you don't have your own kitchen supplies, you can rent um, some pots. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, rent uh, some pots and pans up there. You just give them your student ID at the front desk, and they can uh, give you some uh, kitchen equipment and stuff. Yes, I lived in Gregson. I was a sophomore, and I was down here quite a bit, cooking and doing things. And a lot of um, there's a lot of international students that lived here at the time, and so they were cooking, and I got to try a lot of really good food. So that was really fun. Um, so here's the laundry room. This is the only laundry room in the building. It's here in the basement. Just you come. So um, for laundry, we have a laundry app. Actually, it's called Laundry Alert, and you can use that to um, find out if there's a washer or dryer open. And you can also use it like as a timer or something like that if you need to. Um, and it's really, really handy if you want to download it. You can also just kind of come down here and check and see if something's open and use a timer on your phone. 
Um, laundry is included in your housing fees, but when you come here, you don't have to use coins or anything. Um, some of them you might see there's like a little slot, but don't worry about that. You don't have to put coins or anything. You just need to bring your own detergent, dryer sheets or whatever. Um, Tide Pods are fine. I use Tide Pods almost exclusively, so those work just fine for doing your laundry. Get ready. Come out here. And down here we have a couple of vending machines that you can use. They will be stocked when the year starts, so they're looking a little empty right now. And then the pool table, all the pool equipment is down here right now. That might not be the case. So if you come down here and the pool equipment's not down here, it'll be at the front desk that you can check out. Um, and there's a co-ed bathroom down here as well if you need to, so you don't have to go all the way upstairs to use the bathroom. This right here is a cool little spot. So there's two like study rooms in here actually. Um, and you can see there's like a door you can shut in there and you really can't hear anything going on in there unless people are like being extremely loud. So it's a really nice place if you're taking a test or something and you don't want to be in the same room as your roommate, you can come to this like small space right there and get that done. And most likely nobody's going to bother you because they're not going to come all the way in here. And then around the corner you see there's a ping pong table. Check that out at the front desk if you'd like to play. And then another I see this used as a lot more of like a group study area because they have a big whiteboard. Um, so that's a really nice kind of additional thing. If you're working on group projects or something like that. Right. So that's it for the basement. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna head upstairs and check out a bathroom and then a resident room. refillable water stations so if you can bring your own water bottle that's great um, and you tab it right here on the floor you can fill it up and do it like that so you don't have to keep using reusing water bottles if you can help it and here's the restroom so there's two bathrooms on every floor one on each end I believe this is the ladies side so this will be um, a women's bathroom funny story there are urinals so when Gregson was built, it was an all-boys dorm, so they had urinals. Normally there's like flowers in the urinals, so it's kind of cute and funny, um, but there's no flowers in there right now. Hopefully they come back. And then here is kind of the shower situation. Nice spacious shower. And there's a little bench in here too that you can set your things down, so if you bring a little shower caddy or something, you can just sit it there on the bench. And you can, it's a whole stall, so you just shut it and you're good to go. Now we can just step across the hall and the main room. This is room 141. All the rooms are going to look almost exactly like this. So all the furniture is going to be the same. These are probably one of the biggest rooms on campus, so that's really nice. Very spacious. You got two dressers, two desks. You can look inside the closet if you need to. And there's also some overhead storage here. So if you have a stool or something that you can get up there. There's actually a lot of room up there too, so. Um, if you guys have any questions about any dimensions or anything about the room, go ahead and ask. But in the meantime, um, do you have any advice for incoming students? Um, yeah, I'd say have fun, take advantage of the opportunities that are available to you, and there's going to be a lot of them. Um, I know some people always say, like, don't say yes to too much, but honestly, like, say yes. <laughs> and then you can decide later if you, like, don't really want to, but there's going to be so many fun opportunities and you want to, like, second guess it. I say go for it, try it out, try new things, um, because what else is college for than trying new things and learning more about yourself, so don't be afraid to say yes, but also... You know, you can say no when you need to. You can turn things down even after you say yes. Um, I would say, uh, get, uh, like Krista said, get involved. There's going to be a lot of different uh, events and organizations that you guys can, uh, you know, find some interest and stuff like that, get some new people. Um, definitely get to know your RA. Um, we're going to have an RA on each floor. 
Um, in most communities here, we have, um, I think, five RAs. Two of them are like our community focused one, and the other ones are going to be more focused in different other special areas. So get to know your RA. They're a great resource. Crystal was an RA, one of my RAs a, couple, uh, a year ago. Um, but get to know them. Um, they're, like I said, a great resource to get you connected to um, the community and everything. So, yeah, we're super excited to have you all here uh, in a couple weeks. Do we have any questions or anything? Wow, mm -hmm. the questions. That's a first. Well, if yeah. you do have any questions, um, if you're watching this later afterwards, like a recording or anything like that, feel free to uh, email you housing at UARC or email me at jdgem uen at uark.edu and I can answer any questions you guys might have for dimensions. Same thing with uh, if you email housing. Okay. Um, we got a few questions. Oh, there we go. Uh, someone asked which side is A and which side is B. Yeah. So um, when you walk in, uh, usually A and then B. Um, it just depends on the way those rooms are sometimes structured. Um, but honestly, it doesn't really matter too much, right? When you get in here, you can choose which side that you would like uh, to have. Sometimes A and B is just how we kind of uh, um, associate when we're doing charges and buildings and stuff. But usually, if there is any sort of charge inside, uh, we would talk to you and your roommate and see what that's going on. Um, but it's just more of a formality uh, for A and B. Um, so really, you can just pick which side that you'd like to, and you guys can arrange, rearrange the furniture however you like, um, anything that can be arranged, which in here, everything's movable, so that's awesome. Um, Taylor asks, how many drawers are in each dresser? Yeah, each drawer has uh, uh, three. Yeah, each dresser has three drawers, and then the desks also have two drawer, uh, uh, drawers. Also. And Addie asks, can the beds be lofted? Yeah, they can be lofted. So as you can see, there's different little prongs on here. Um, so if you go to our uh, housing uh, move-in website, it actually gives you um, instructions of like which each peg, like how high, uh, how high it can go and how low and um, what are the uh, you know dimensions and stuff like that for uh, that sort of thing. If you decide, hey, I'd like to have my bed the highest it can go before move-in or um, or a certain height, you can uh, request at our housing at you are if you go to our housing website and you go to um, fix it or, uh, or fix it request or maintenance request. Um, you can put it in there uh, and submit a work order and um, they'll be notified when it's complete. Um, that way you don't have to deal with it when you move in, but if you decide you'd rather do it when, when you get a chance to actually look at it, you can still submit it day out and we'll go round to it as soon as we can. Yeah? That's it? That's yeah, I guess questions. that's all the questions. Well, we appreciate y'all and we'll see y'all here shortly.